Good evening to one and everyone present over you. As it is rightly said, every lock has a key, every problem has a solution. So we cannot solve our problem with the same things we used when we created them. That's why we need to innovate. Building resilient, create them. That's why we need innovation. This is the motto of sustainable development. So with this motto, I, Jaikumari Dawra, along with my co-host, Ms. Ruchita and Ms. Shalini, proudly welcomes each one of you to this evening on behalf of Harvest Educational Transformation Solutions, Heads and Sanjeevni World School. This initiation has created the pathway to the future we all want for our our young learners not only have voice, but also wings to fly. And we at Sanjeevni and Heads have assured we prepare that platform for them to speak and fly. In totality, we have 35 schools, five of which are international and the rest are all pan-India school. The entire team of Heads and Sanjeevni World School have got together in collaboration for such a noble cause. We believe our students are the hard bringers of change. Hence, we have created such a platform for them. Now, I would like to introduce you to all the energetic personality of Ms. Shalini Mittal, a passionate educator and a representative of HEADS, have 15 years of experience in the field of education. Currently, she is working as subject head English at Bharat Ram Global School in Virapuram and puts her best foot forward to resolve the queries of the learners. She begged a trophy for the most consistentious teacher of BRGS 2019. She was awarded with most sincere teacher of her school. She believes that each new day begins with a new ray of hope and we should always be self-motivated to learn something new every day. Good evening, eminent guests, dignitaries, principals, coordinators, and dear participants. We take pride in welcoming, welcoming you all to the Sustainable Development Goals initiated by Harvest Educational Transformation Solutions, HEST, HEADS. I am sure that today we will have a great time and will also learn a lot from the young talents of, on this platform. We wish the participants all the best for their presentation. Proceeding ahead, the main event of this evening is to showcase the talents of the young generation. I, Jai Kumari, along with my co-host, Ms. Ruchita and Ms. Shalini, welcome you all on behalf of SWS and Heads family on this great event. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. I, along with my co-host, Ms. J. Kumari and Ms. Suchita Ma'am, extremely overwhelmed to get this opportunity to address you all on Sustainable Development Goal Number 9, Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure. It is indeed a special occasion and an important moment for all those who will embark upon a totally new journey now. I am certain that you are wondering and probably anxious about what the future holds in store. The challenges are for everybody. How you deal with them is what makes you stand out. We are very pleased to be able to welcome those of you that have been with us for a very long time now, as well as those who are new to the association. So now, it's my turn to introduce my co-host, Ms. J. Kumari and Ms. Suchita M. Ms. J. Kumari Dalkar, the science credit Sanjeevani World School, a dedicated, passionate, creative, compassionate, and practical educator with over three years of work experience. 
She is very much loved by the students for her ability to make complicated topics easy to understand and relate them to their real life utilities, thus making learning easy, entertaining and useful. She has been conferred upon by awards like Virtual Inspire Awards. As a teacher, her vision is to make learning a collection of impressions and experiences rather than information. Next foremost is Ms. Rujita Naikar. She is the energetic personality associated with Sanjeevani Gold School for over 2.5 years from now. From the exception years, she has enjoyed her journey throughout. She is a graduate in education and experience of over more than 12 years of teaching. Being around children, sharing and gaining knowledge from them, being an important part of their lives to strengthen their foundation years is something that gives them immense happiness to make suitable. Today's youth voice conference refers to the distinctive ideas, opinions, attitudes, knowledge, and actions of the young generation as a collective body. Kids, along with Sanjivani World School, is privileged to provide this wonderful platform for students around the world to show their skills, creativity, curiosity, to learn more. Let's all come together and make the most of it. So here I hand it over to Ms. Suchita for lighting of the line. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to, to welcome this beautiful audience once again, who have, who have spared their valuable time to be a part of this great event organized by HITS. Dr. Aruna Vadkar is a pragmatic and passionate personality, without whom this event uh, would not have been possible. Now, moving further, as per the Indo Indian tradition, we would like to start the program by paying tribute to the goddess of knowledge, oh Goddess Saraswati. Mother, we pray for your blessing with all humility. Give us wisdom to make this world a better place. May all human beings live, live in harmony and peace. May the truth prevail. May the darkness of ignorance be swept away from away by the down of the self-realization. Let's join this spiritual moment with our heart and soul and enjoy the Saraswati Vandana. Before proceeding, let me tell you that this Saraswati Vandana is sung by Sujata Iyer in her melodious voice. Thank you, ma'am, for creating an heavenly aura here. Over to you, Shalini, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Now let me introduce the organizers with you all. It's an evolving institution and a social enterprise that provides essential knowledge, assessments, counseling programs, work skills, and other customized solutions in the field of education. Now, I would like to introduce the multi-talented, extraordinary, energetic, and magnanimous personality with all of us present here, none other than Dr. Aruna Vodkar, an, ex 
experience of three decades in the field of education and corporate sector, an educational consultant and educator, a mentor, a speaker, Dr. Aruna Watkar's career reflects richness and strength of variety and diversity. Her hands-on experience in various designations of repute in ICSC, CBSC, and state board schools includes Director and Principal Doctor International School, Kashmir, Pulwama, Academic Head and Lead of Schools, Pearson Regional, Director of Schools, Zealand Limited, South Zone. Carrying with a huge experience now in entrepreneur, she is currently the founder and managing director at Harvest Educational Transformation Solutions, an organization registered with MSME, Government of India. She is having a long list of achievements and awards. A few of them are Sanjeevani Seed of Knowledge Award 2020, Indian Humanitarian Award 2020, Nation Builder Award 2020, Honor to Excellence by Akal Academy, Sri Krishna Samman 2020, National Education Excellence Award 2019, India Star Republic Award 2019, and many more. Thank you. Over to you, Ms. Jair. Thank you so much, ma'am. I feel pleased to introduce you to SWS, Sanjeevni World School, which is a futuristic school where everyone is encouraged and inspired to learn the skills required to succeed in a globalized area. Backed with a team of passionate, hardworking, and a dedicated individual, the school is ready to prepare each learner for the future changes, which will enable them to reach their goals far beyond the horizon. We aspire to empower the learners for the rapidly changing world by enabling with the thinking skills, global preparedness, and respect for core values of patriotism, integrity, honesty, loyalty, etc. We at Sanjeevni World School have a legacy to leave behind. A legacy is to in the form of successful students who are an asset to the world, a holistic being. We willingly embrace all the responsibilities to prepare our learners, not just for the exams, but also for the changing complex world, the uncertain future. Dr. Seema Negi is the director principal, the pillar, the backbone, and the captain of the ship of Sanjeevni World School. Sanjeevni, along with heads, have organized this SDG event. Now I would like to request Ms. Ruchita to introduce SDG. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. The Sustainable Development Goals were born at the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development in Rio de Janeiro in 2012. The objective was to produce a set of universal goals that meet the urgent environmental, political, and economic challenges faced by the world. Sustainable development practices help countries grow in a way that adopt to the challenges posted by climate change, which will in turn help to protect important, important natural resources for ours and future generations. In 2015, a global delegation of experts developed, debated, and introduced the 17 Sustainable Development Goals to be adopted by the United Nations and its 193 member countries. These 17 goals, global condition and trends, they are at the forefront of international development conversation, initiatives, and require innovative research collaboration to create new responsibilities and a better future for a, for, for a more sustainable world. In addition to learning core academic subjects, Children needs to grow in other areas that are equally important in the development of an all-round individuals. 
we do not teach only the attempt but provide knowledge centered conductive in environment and ambiance in which they learn moving forward i would like i would now like to call upon miss puja parashar teacher of sws school for introducing goal 9 industry innovation and infrastructure to us over to you ma'am thank you ruchita ma'am good afternoon to one and all present here i on behalf of san evening world school is going to tell you about sdg goal 9 sustainable develop goal 9 is about is one of the more and is one of the 17 sustainable development goals adopted by the un general assembly in 2015 sdg 9 aims to build infrastructure promote sustainable industrialization and foster poverty that is why this goal is very important realizing sdg 9 by 2030 will require overcoming resource constraints building and strength developing countries capacities and exploring innovative ways to solve developmental challenges the un has defined eight targets and 12 indicators for sdg I would like to request Shalini, ma'am, to introduce our chief guest. Thank you, ma'am. Let me introduce our chief guest, Dr. Subhanti Narayanan, M.E., M.B.A., D.C.E.D., B.A., D.Lit., the principal of Agartya Public School, Bangalore. She has varied experience in international CBC and state board school across India over the last twenty-eight years. She has started her career as assistant headmistress in Trichy, followed by an illustrious teaching career coupled with school administration as a coordinator, vice principal, and principal for 28 years in various schools in Tamil Nadu, Pondicherry, and Bangalore. She is a player for sport, being a sports person herself. Volleyball district player, inter school level championship champion in shot put and discus, and a Long jumper, Dr. Sogandhi Narayanan is teacher trainer, social activist, board of director, HED for HEDS Foundation, chief management officer of Heads, state council member of Women's Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Dr. Subhanti Narayanan has national awards in the field of leadership, education, and also for herself. Some of her awards are Doctor of Letters by International Economics University for SAAF countries in 2018, Lifetime Achievement Award. I think Jaya is facing some technical issues, so you can you can go ahead. Or we have our chief guest here. Uh, may we request Dr. Sukanti to kindly share her pearls of wisdom with all the participants today? Thank you. Uh, 
All right, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Seema, and thank you, Ms. Shalini, for this warm and pleasing introduction. And good evening to all of you. It's happy to see the young children talking about SDG, which is very, very important. And once again, thanks to Heads and Sanjeevani World School for this wonderful initiative taken. And um, hats off to Dr. Aruna and Dr. Seema Negi for this. See, when we talk about this uh, industry innovation and infrastructure goal nine, we should understand one thing that is inclusive and sustainable industrialization together with innovation and infrastructure can unleash dynamic and competitive economic forces, which will generate employment and income. So they play a very key role in introducing and promoting new technology facilitating national trade and enabling the effects of and efficient use of these resources. And not only that, industrialization, if you see, it drives the economic growth, it creates the employment opportunity and thereby reducing the income poverty. So all these things we all know, but what is the reality here? How do we know that? What exactly is happening? If you, if you know that about 2.6 billion people in the developing world are facing difficulties in accessing electricity full time. Do we know that? We have electricity here, we have inverter at home, we have generator in the apartment, 24 bar seven, we have our access to light fans, but there are 2.6 billion people who cannot access electricity full time. This is the reality. And not only that, 2.5 billion people worldwide lack access to basic sanitation. And almost 800 million people lack access to water. And many hundreds of millions of them in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia, they even don't know what water is. They have to walk miles and miles and do and take it. And 1 to 1.5 million people do not have access to reliable phone services. We do have mobile, we have land. It's an initiative that the children know the facts and you talk about it. I'm waiting to listen to all of you. Thank you for this platform. Thank you so much, ma'am. As I already said, Sanjeevni World School is a futuristic school which empowers the learners for rapidly changing world by enabling them with the thinking skills for global perspective. The mission of the school is crafting Indian souls with the global ethos. Now, Dr. Seema Negi, who comes from the lineage of the Indian Air Force is a passionate educator. Her expertise lies in both Indian and international ports. Presently, she is the director principal of Sanjeevni World School, Dicer. She is associated with many of the educational and social organizations and contributes her time and efforts for the betterment of the education system and society. She is disturbed with a many prestigious YM. Our heartiest welcome to you, ma'am. Good evening, 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 ma'am. Good I think Jaya is facing some technical issues. So you can you can go ahead. Or we have our chief guest here. Uh, maybe we request Dr. Sugandhi to kindly share her pearls of wisdom with all the participants today. Thank you. All right, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rasima, and thank you, Ms. Shalini, for this warm and pleasing introduction. And good evening to all of you. It's happy to see the young children talking about SDG, 
which is very, very important. And once again, thanks to Heads and Sanjeevani Boys School for this wonderful initiative taken. And um, hats off to Dr. Aruna and Dr. Seema Negi for this. See, when we talk about this uh, industry innovation and infrastructure goal nine, we should understand one thing that is inclusive and sustainable industrialization together with innovation and infrastructure can unleash dynamic and competitive economic forces, which will generate employment and income. So they play a very key role in introducing and promoting new technologies, facilitating international trade and enabling the effects of and efficiency use of these resources and not only that industrialization if you see it drives the economic growth it creates the things all know but what is the reality here how do we know that what exactly is happening if you know that about 2.6 billion people in the developing world are facing difficulties in accessing electricity full time know that we have electricity here we have inverter at home we have generator in the apartment 24 bar 7 we have our access to light fans but there are 2.6 billion people get electricity full time this is the reality. And not only that, 2.5 billion people worldwide lack access to basic sanitation. And almost 800 million people lack access to water. And many hundreds of millions of them in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia, they even don't know what water is. They have to walk miles and miles and two and take it. And 1 to 1.5 million people do not have access to reliable phone services. We do have mobile, we have landline, we have internet connection, you have modem. Every time you watch TV, you play your PlayStation, video games and everything, but there are many people uh, still having basic facilities. And today, children, you have taken it up. So it is actually a nice initiative that the children know the facts and you talk about it. I'm waiting to listen to all of you. Thank you for this platform. Ma'am, I said Sanjeevni World School is a futuristic school which empowers the learners for rapidly changing world by enabling them the thinking skills or global perspective. The mission of the school is crafting Indian souls with the global ethos. Now, Dr. Seema Negi, who comes from the village of the Indian Air Force, is a passionate educator. Her expertise lies in both Indian and international schools. Presently, she is the director principal of Sanjeevni World School, Dicer. She is associated with many of the educational and social organizations and contributes her time and efforts for the betterment of the education system and society. She is disturbed with uh, many prestige. Okay, I think she got locked off due to technical issue, I suppose. Yes, in Mumbai it is raining heavily, so we are facing major technical glitches. Yeah, I think yeah. we, we can move ahead uh, from there. Yeah. Yes, Ruch, please go yeah. ahead. Yes. She is associate with many educational and social organizations and contributes her time and effort for the betterment of educational system and society. She is bestowed with many prestigious awards, Best Academic Leader, Bharat Vidya Shiromani, Jewel of India, Shiksha Bharti, Nari Shakti, Nation Builder Award from Rotary, Visionary Leader, Pride of, Pride of India, Educational Icon 2018, Woman of Substance, Super Achiever Award, Humanity Award, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Professional Excellence Award, to, na to name a few. She was honored, uh, honored 
in Singapore, Sri Lanka, London, Nepal, Dubai, and Thailand. She is a true leader. She led by example. Hence, she is she is the example for many many to follow. She has won the prestigious title of Education Icon, Education Queen 2018, Miss Role Model, Miss Role Model 2018 in an ex exclusive pageant only for educationists. She is an international speaker. She attend various conference, event, and summit. as speaker moderator and panelist at national and international platform she has spoken on more than 250 platforms during the pandemic she is a global goodwill ambassador a life coach or an author coordinator of saarc nations regional committee for good global youth parliament secretary general from india for global talk education advisor for sport academy association association of india territory head of head for association for primary education and research associated with associated with many social and educational organization worldwide president mahatma president mahatma maharashtra educational policy council for wicci women's indian chamber of commerce and industry chief mentor for badal a peer to peer virtual learning platform associate associate academic director for hema foundation in inculcating values her work is recognized by the world book of record uk on personal and professional category the Ut the uttar pradesh book of world record educational and professional qualification bachelor in sociology bachelor in education master in social sociology master in education education management mphil in education phd in education diploma in literature in education life coach and lead life coach leading change management from course from harvard business business school and lifelong learner Her signature program, Principal Ki Patshala, is much appreciated and applauded by the educators fraternity. Being a Rotarian, she undertakes many many so associated societal driven initiative. She stands by the maxims "I am because we are," and she is determined to bring the change by human human empowerment. She lives by the principle of empathy and gratitude. Okay. I'm so excited, aren't you all? Now, please join me in the welcoming the participant as the show is about to begin. And without making you all to wait, let us proceed for the much-awaited program. Over to you, Shalini, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I would like to call call you first, ma'am, to take over this event for the so back to you. So, Thank you, ma'am. First of all, I would like to call coordinator of Jasod Bin ML School to commence their session with their goal and presentation. Thank you. Good evening, Dr. Arna, Dr. Seema, Dr. Suganti, Mrs. Damyanti Bhattacharya, our principal, Sanjeev Ni World School heads, fellow teachers, and dear students. Today's presentation is brought to you by Gujarat Research Society's Jasod Ben Emil School, located at Kar, Mumbai. First to present his views on the topic is Master Kovit Manet. He is a student of Grade Eight and will be speaking on the scope of SDG Nine and India. Hello, everybody. My name is Kovit. We represent Jasod Ben Emil School. And will be speaking on sustainable development goal number nine. These were adopted by the member country of the United Nations in 2016 to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure prosperity to all. SDG nine is based on three inter interconnected pillars of sustainability, innovation, and an eco-friendly infrastructure. Lagging behind because uh, in, uh, lagging behind in development because of lack of infrastructural support. The Indian government has entrusted Niti Aayog with the responsibility to monitor SDG progress in India. 
it brings out an annual uh, report on the SDG progress in India. Industrialized states like Gujarat, Haryana, Tamil Nadu, and Maharashtra have fared exceedingly well on SDG 9. I would now like to present some examples of some innovations and achievements. Not only is this railway station eco-friendly, it has also saved the railways 8 lakhs in annual fees. This is, a, this is an example of innovative use of natural resources. Did you know that carbon dioxide, which is emitted by the industries, turned into methanol, a low carbon fuel alternative, which can be used by cars? The government is seriously working in this direction. The Niti Aayog driven women entrepreneurship program helps Indian women to helps Indian women realize their entrepreneurial aspirations. The release of greenhouse gases around the world into the atmosphere has come down significantly, especially since 2015. There are approximately 86 crore broadband subscribers in India and has increased year on year. This is a commendable achievement. Why only the government? We too can play our small little roles in SDGs too. How about brainstorming on issues and ideas? Check whether your school keeps one of these books on SDGs. Happy reading. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Kovit, for throwing light on the steps taken by the Indian government in ensuring India matches up to the global standards in the field of development. Next, we have Master David Konke, who will be sharing a poster which he made reflecting his take on the topic. His focus is on SDG 9 and how the rural sector can be empowered for the equitable reach of the goal. Hello everyone, my name is Devad Sachin Konke from class 8C. As my friend COVID mentioned, SDG 2030 was adopted by to make that each individual cohabiting this world has equal access to basic facilities, which are both environment friendly and sustainable in the long run. There are multiple areas that require our attention, but the time is too short to talk of all of those. It is very important that rural landscape needs to be looked into as urban gets more attention naturally. Let's take a look on how the rural sector can work to improve the balance and help in the cause of global development, keeping the environmental impact and sustainability in mind here is my take on improvements that we can undertake. Sustainable Development Goal The underlying philosophy of sustainable development is the economic development without depleting the natural resources and thus not compromising with the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The Sustainable Development Goals, or also known as Global Goals, were adopted by the UN in 2015. There are a total of 17 SDGs. Of, of these, the goal number nine focuses on innovation, industry, and infrastructure. Innovation. Biogas can be produced, the, um, biogas can be produced from food waste that has a high organic matter contents and high biomethane production. This is an organic process which is cost effective eco-friendly and prevents degradation of land by avoiding the usage of land as filling dumps. Industry. Most of the population of the world lives in rural areas. Hence, agro-based industries can provide income in the rural areas with less investment by effective and efficient utilization of local agricultural raw materials. Also, raw materials oftentimes food waste is left in the farms to decay and rot due to the due to the low prices offered by middlemen and expensive transport infrastructure a growing number of studies say that roads containing um, plas recycled plastic waste can perform better or even well or even can perform better than traditional roads they can last longer are stronger and are more durable. These roads can also tolerate wide temperature swings 
and are more resistant to water damages, cracking, and potholes. Similarly, plastic houses can be constructed for the homeless and poor by more durable and stronger plastic bricks, which are manufactured for processing plastic waste into bricks with interlocking systems. Thank you. Thank you, David, for the pictographic representation on how the rural sector can emerge as a turning point in this movement to achieve optimum levels of development, keeping in mind the environmental effects. The last presenter for our school is Master Dash Panchwani. Dash will present to us how ordinary citizens like us can make a difference in this world. Good evening, all. My friend highlight how our country is striving to assist to reach the goals for the world. Commendable actions have come from ordinary citizens. Let's hear some. Ila Diaz from Philippines created light from trash. Makes light bulbs out of used plastic bottles. By simple salute to these women Sharon Fitzgerald created a material that does a work of plastic, but it is not plastic. This material is totally biodegradable. Such innovations create hope for our future. A wave power has created a milestone in the electricity generation. It has created a device which turns ocean and sea waves into green electricity. At the Cornwall landfill, England, a free store has been built where discarded items like furniture and cookware are kept. They can be picked up by anyone who's interested in them. Isn't it such a wonderful idea of reducing the waste at the landfills? The waste at the landfills generates a great deal of methane and carbon dioxide emissions. For SDG 2030 to be a reality, we need to take action now. Let's join hands and contribute in our individual capacity. Avoid water. Carry your own water bottle. Avoid plastic bags. Use cloth or jute bags without wetting. Compose your plastic like fruit and vegetable peels, eggshells, etc. Buy items with minimum packaging. Buying secondhand items will reduce the waste at the landfills. Curb the use of paper. Opt for online correspondence. Well, I'm going to end today's presentation with the treasure hunt. Somewhere in your home, there could be old unused electronics like old smartphones, DVD players, and desktops. They can be recycled and reused. So go, search through your home for that buried treasure that can be recycled. Wishing you happy hunting is Dash Panjwan from Jasmine Emerald School signing off. I hope Devaj and myself have left no part untouched. And I would like to thank Sanjeevni World School and hates for giving us the opportunity to have our say. Thank you. Well done, all of you. I now invite my co-teacher, Miss Varsha, to take it forward. Good evening, everyone. I, Varsha take this opportunity to introduce our students who are ready with their presentation for the ninth goal for today. They are Sanskar Madhgur, Rudra Guram, and Reet Patel. I would like to call Reet Patel students of Sanjivni World School for the goal for today. So our goal, so our goal is industry innovation or what does this mean? Cut down trees, uh, make barren land, and build uh, build industries in that place. No, we have to. Um, this one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
and do in the same way that throw this uh, materials in the sea what do you think you are thinking this no uh, because of this we will have uh, many we will have many waste in the sea and that will cause us harmful allergies it allergies thank you Good evening, all. Today I will be representing you. And future generation. <coughs> Coughing. Yeah. Yeah. Sneezing. Itching. Allergy. Breathing problems. I from where this kind of disease comes from? I don't understand. Even ha 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 ha, coughing, sneezing, allergy, itching, breathing problems are all my gifts to you. Can you? Who am I? Fine. Let me tell you. I am pollution. I am found in water, land, air, etc. my funny parts you you must have gave birth to me and now i will end the mankind ha 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 ha, ha, ha. stop pollution stop what do you think you are the most powerful no we are me children like me and my friends are the future generation and we have taken a pledge to make our mother earth clean and green by planting more trees reducing usage of plastic and on emission of harmful gases or smoking in our air jolly if we can constructing New greener infrastructures, re retrofitting or rectifying uh, existing infrastructure system, and exploiting the potential of smart technologies. Of smart technologies can greatly contribute to the reduction of environmental impacts and disaster risks, as well as the construction of resilience and the increase of efficiency in the use of natural resources. A uh, target one. develop develop quality reliable su sustainable and resilient infrastructure including regional and trans body trans border infrastructures to support economic development and human well being with a focus on affordable and equitable access for all target 2 promote exclusive inclusive and sustainable substitution and by 2030 significant raise industries share of employment and gross domestic in line with natural with national circumstances and double its share in least developed countries target 3 by 2030 upgrade infrastructure and retrofit industry to make them to make them sustainable and and clean and environmentally adapt environmentally sound technology industry pro with all countries taking action in accordance with their respective with their respective capabilities target 4 facilities sustainable and resilient infrastructures development in developing country through enhanced financial technology cal technological and countries least developed countries landlocked developing countries and small island developing states 
थैंक यू वाओ वाओ दैट वॉज ए इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड ब्रिलियंट एक्ट आई नाउ कॉल अपॉन संस्कार मधगुर टू टेक इट फॉरवर्ड Now can you share screen? Yes. Let us understand more about industry innovation and infrastructure. What's the goal here? To build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. Industrial innovation infrastructure. why economic growth social development and climate action are heavily dependent on investments because infrastructure sustainable industrial development and technological process in the face of a rapidly changing global economic landscape and increasing inequalities sustained growth must include industrialization that first of all makes opportunities accessible to all people so what's the problem basic infrastructure like roads information and communication sanitization electrical power and water remain scarce in many developing countries one to be people do not have access to reliable phone services 2.3 billion people worldwide access to basic sanitization and almost 800 million lack access for the developing countries barely 30% of agriculture production undergoes industrial processing how can we have a new base that the infrastructure in like computer vision or artificial intelligence in general to keep the industry moving forward establish standards and promote regulations that ensure company projects and initiatives are sustainably managed think about how industry impacts on your life and well-being and use social media to push for policy makers to prioritize the sdgs collaborate with ngos and the public sector to help promote sustainable growth within developing countries targets link to goal develop quality reliable sustainable and resilient infrastructure including regional and trans border infrastructure to support economic development and human well-being with a focus on affordable and equitable access for all increase the access of small scale industrial and other enterprises in particular in developing countries to financial services including affordable credit and their integration into value chains and markets green city green city or eco city is a city designed with consideration for social economic environmental impact and resilient habitat for existing populations without compromising the ability of future generation to experience the same story of change sustainable water saving devices do your dishes with only half of the usually used water and energy without even noticing a difference this is the philosophy on which the german group company runs its production of water fittings the sustainability vision has the aim of becoming the largest producer of sustainable fittings worldwide against the global trend of short lived and inferior industrial products the company decided to produce high quality reliable and resource saving instruments reducing their customers resources needs is one goal of the company while the other shows a recycling rate close to 100% thank you
wonderful information sanskar i would now request rudra guram to proceed further global development goals goal number 9 industry innovation and infrastructure i have made a poster which shows the problems and solution under the s sdg some of the problems are worldwide 2.3 billion people lack access to basic sanitization in low in some low income african countries in constraints cut business productivity by around 40% 2.6 billion people in developing countries do not have access to constant electricity more than 4 billion people still do not have access to the internet 90% of them are in the developing world the renewable energy sectors currently employ more than 2.3 million people the number could reach 20 million by 2030 In developing countries, barely 30% of agricultural products undergo industrial processing, compared to 98% high-income countries. The goal targets that will address their problems are develop quality, reliable, sustainable, and resilient infrastructure, including regional and transborder infrastructure, to support economic. development and human well-being with the focus on affordable and equitable access for all promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization by 2030 significant reduction share of employment and gross domestic product in line with national circumstances and double its share in least developed countries increase the access of small scale industrial and and other enterprises in particular in developing countries to financial services including affordable credit and integration into value chains and markets by 2030 upgrade infrastructure and retrofit industries to make them sustainable with increased resource use efficiency and greater ad- adoption of clean and environmentally sound technologies and industrial processes with all countries taking action in accordance with their respective capabilities and in scientific research about the technology capabilities of industrial sectors in all countries in particular developing countries including by 2030 encouraging innovation and substantially increasing the number of research and development workers per 1 million people and public and private search and development spending facilitate sustainable and resilient infrastructure development in developing countries through enhanced financial technological and technical support to african countries least developed countries landlocked developing countries and small island developing state city support the uh, domestic technology uh, technology development research and innovation in developing countries including by ensuring a co- conducive policy environment for inter area industrial diversification and value addition to commodities significantly increase access to information and communication technology and strive to provide universal and affordable access to the internet in least developed countries by 2020 thank you that was a informative fabulous over to you nikita ma'am now I would open the session for students to ask their question. Over to you, Shalaka, ma'am. Thank you, Ruchita, ma'am. Is Darsh from Jasudbin ML School to ask the question? Okay. So, as an individual, how can one contribute in a COVID nine? charity begins at home and big journeys begins with small steps we can help nature by saving environment plant more trees and recycle the things always save water i would like to invite kovit to ask question 
why is SDG nine so important? SDG nine goal is important. Investment in infrastructure and innovation are crucial drivers of economic growth and development. Technical technological progress is also key to finding lasting solutions to both economic and environmental challenges, such as providing new jobs and promoting energy efficiency. Next, Devaj, are you ready with your question? Yes. yes. Yes, miss. How can we achieve um, SDG nine? Yes, uh, who is to be answered now? I answered this question only. now only. Why is STG going? Okay. Yeah, can we go on to the next question if there, if it's there? So I think it was asked why SDG goal was important. And now the next question, which was asked, I think was how to achieve that. Am I right? Yes. Or if you can repeat the question. Yes, yes, miss. I'll repeat the question. How can we achieve SDG 9? Chief. Creating a hotspot map. There are a lot of public spaces with free Wi-Fi access by mapping them out in your neighborhood and spreading awareness through social flyers or announcements, you can help more people access the Now I would like to request students from Sanjuni World School to ask their questions. Yes, ma'am. What is the meaning of Women and Fit program? Um, it's like it is the first of its kind in India. It's never been uh, conducted before. So uh, people, the women from all across India, all the states of India, uh, come together and it's like a, uh, to build a nurturing ecosystem. Where, wherein they are being, uh, where they under, where they realize their um, goals, entrepreneurial goals, and opportunities. And um, this is a, this is the first time it's happening in India because usually women don't get the chance to uh, showcase what whatever they can, and because it's um, like, this is a part of the SG9. I would like to request student of SWS to put forward their next question. How does recycling save the... Please repeat the question. How does recycling save the environment? There's much value in waste. The environmental and social gains are truly remarkable. For example, one ton of recycled paper saves approximately 17 trees, 2.5 barrels of oil, 4,100 kilowatt hours of electricity, 4 cubic liters of landfill, and 31,780 liters of water over production of virgin paper from wood. That's, motiva that's motivation enough to intensify recycling. I would like to request student of SWS to put forward their next question. Who is protected towards SDGs? So, make, we should make awareness compulsory from school levels and keep it an, an integral part of the curriculum as well as a legal compulsion for rich um, industrial houses. Today, we have CSR, which is corporate social industrial houses for big companies as a compulsory expense. However, we need a strict mechanism to monitor and govern these spendings and ensure that the industrial houses do these activities in the right spirit. 
conceptualization goal over to you ma'am Thank you very much. I think I was on mute. This goal is about industry innovation and infrastructure, and is one of the seventy sustainable development goals adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in two thousand fifteen. SDG nine aims to build resilient infrastructure, promote sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. SDG has. Nine eight nine targets, and progress is measured by twelve indicators. The first five targets are outcome targets. They develop sustainable, resilient, and inclusive infrastructures, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, increase access to financial services and markets, up all industries and infrastructures for sustainability. Enhance research and upgrade industrial technologies. The remaining three targets are means of achieving targets, facilitate sustainable infrastructure development for developing countries, suggest so technology development and industrial diversification, promotion and communication of technology. This goal recognizes that humanity's ability to connect and communicate effectively. Both people and crucial in overcoming many economic, social, and environmental challenges in the 21st century. In order to have a successful community, a functioning and strong infrastructure has to be in place as its basic requirement. SDG 9 is all about promoting innovative and sustainable technologies and ensuring equal and universal access to information and financial markets. Technological development and infrastructure is what gives rise to a sustainable society. This is expected to create prosperity and jobs and build stable and prosperous societies across the globe. The key emphasis is on developing reliable and sustainable infrastructure solutions that support economic development as well as human well-being while also ensuring financial this goal aims at ensuring every society in the world possesses good infrastructure so this was the short summary of this sdg goal number 9 now i'd like to hand it over to ms kuchita again thank you so much ma'am before ending this session or before moving forward i would like to request our honorable chief guest dr suganti ma'am to give her inputs and feedback and words of appreciation on the evening thank you thank you first of all uh, moderators you are doing a great job and uh, once again i would like to thank dr seema and dr aruna for this wonderful initiative and children have soft um i don't know 20 25 years ago when we were children like you and if this platform was given to us i doubt whether we would have presented so pretty well like you all even now i think you guys are rocking comparatively what we are trying to say and i like to one person one boy i sorry i am not able to recollect his name that happy hunting that was really incredible to think even of and the way that the boy was coughing sneezing and telling how um, making the pollution as one of the factor that you were telling and with women entrepreneurship all these things the way children you are taking it up it's really wonderful and you guys are the ones who are going to clean up our earth as once in dr seema has said do we have another planet 
why should we have? We have already one. When we have one, why don't we take care of it? And one uh, student had said about recycling one ton of paper saves 17 trees, 225,841 of oil, and 2.5 cubic meters of landfill space. Excellent, excellent data. And not only that, if at all, you know, 70% of the world is covered by water. But if you see, it's only 2.5% of it is fresh. And of that 2.5, only 1% is easily accessible to us. Now, if we are going to pollute this 1% also, then where do we go for water? The nature has given us everything in hand. It has given everything in a tray and handing over it. But still, we are not ready to take it up. So wonderful, guys. Children, you have done a remarkable job. Plus, keep this in mind. Don't think this is only for the presentation day. Tomorrow, when you grow up, by 2030, you all will be adults. Kindly keep this in mind and put it into action and see what best we can save our earth. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Presentation. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your valuable feedback. It means a lot to us. And thank you so much for motivating us as well. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would like to hand it over to uh, Rujita, ma'am, to take it forward. As we have successfully completed today's session for goal nine, I request you all to join SDG goal 10 tomorrow at 4 p.m., which aims to reduce inequality within and among countries. It has 10 targets to meet. Want to know in details? Join the session tomorrow at 4 p.m. Over to you, Shalini, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, I, Shalini Hittal, on behalf of Indian fraternity, formally invite all of you for the culmination of the energy in the 25th September 2021 at 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So now we have reached towards the end of this amazingly interactive exchange of ideas related to SDG goal number nine. I take this opportunity to express my gratitude to Dr. Anurup Kaur, principal of Bharatna Global School in Indira Puram, and Chief Advisory Officer of Kids to provide this platform to me. Now, I would like to call Ms. Kanika, the student representative of Kids, to propose the vote of thanks. Over to you, Kanika. Thank you, ma'am. A very good evening to one and all present here. I, Kanika, on behalf of HEADS, am here to propose the vote of thanks for the event. Let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty for giving us the opportunity to organize such an event to bring the event to a wonderful conclusion. I would like to thank our special guests for today to grace this occasion with their benign presence. Thank you for your gracious presence. I would like to express my deep gratitude to all the principals, coordinators, and students for participating and enlightening us with their knowledge. Dr. Aruba, our associate member, without whose support and guidance, this event would not have been possible. I would also like to express my deep sense of appreciation to the dedication, all amazing teaching staff. A big thanks to you for your unstinted support. I owe special gratitude to the administration staff who have worked hard to ensure that this occasion becomes a memorable success. Thank you very much very much. Over to you, Claire, 
Thank you so much. It was so very well moderated. Jaya ma'am, may I request you to stop the recording, please?